Gabriel, none of these ideas have worked. Can we please just go back to the old format? Okay, can we just try one more? I promise it'll be a home run. We'll kick it past the goalie and we'll score a touchdown. Big sports fan. I love throwing around the old raccoon skin. Gabriel, can't we just watch a horror film? Alright, but then you won't get to be Martha Stewart. What? I love cooking. I, I love cleaning. I love Martha. Gabriel, I want to be Martha. <laughs> Today, on Living with Demonic Dan, I'm going to share a secret with you of how to remove a stain from anything. And we'll be watching the horror film, Jeepers Creepers. You know, Dan, Jeepers Creepers was created by a convicted pedophile. Mm. Today, on Living with Demonic Dan, I'm going to share a spooky tip with you that will allow you to remove a stain from anything. And Gabriel, we're going to be watching the horror film, Wrong Turn. And I'll be showing you how to go and notice while hiding in your coworker's closet. Okay, please don't do that. But please do tell us who's our guest today. Local butcher and neighborhood dad, Mike. Oh, wonderful. Why don't we retire to the set and I'll bring some of my famous bloody lemonade along with us. You know, the tip is, the blood is just raspberry juice. Hmm. <laughs> Extra special tip, we didn't have any raspberries, so I used my own blood. Oh, Gabriel. Looks like I'll be whipping up a batch of my famous ice water then. Mmm. This is some really good ice water. You got a secret? What's the secret? Oh, well, I just used real frozen water. Um, so, Mike, Gabriel tells me you want to watch the film for inspiration uh, for the meal you're going to cook later on, is that right? Yeah, I'm really excited about this. Okay. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Hey, and don't forget to plug your butcher shop, Family Butcher. It's run by Mike and his family. Uh, no. <laughs> Thanks, Gabe. No, I, uh, I'm getting a divorce, so it's uh, oh. just me and the meat now. Ew. You know, uh, if you need someone to talk to, I've, I've been there before. Oh, you've also walked in on your wife with another man having intercourse on top of your finest pork loin that only sells for about $9.99 a pound and those two just just really going at it and her screaming she loves you so much and uh, you know she wants to have your baby even though she already has a family and you know a life and a, and a business and everything else involved. Dan that happened to you too? Man what are the odds? No Gabriel I was I've just I've been divorced but uh, I didn't have that second part happen. Well hey I'm excited. Let's just watch the movie, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wrong Turn is the gory tale of campers being hunted through the hills of North Carolina by cannibalistic humans. Hmm. Ooh, Carolina. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use a Carolina barbecue on the meat. Oh, that sounds delicious. Now, Mike, you, you seem like you're doing better when you just sort of dive into work. <sighs> yeah, it's really all i got left in life. Mm. I'm just, just all work. What about your family? Gabriel! Oh, right. Because his wife was a guy in the Gabriel. pork point. No, you don't want to talk about that. Well, that's what he Just said happened. He doesn't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. What? Don't bring it up. Make that inside voice that you use inside your own head. All right. You know, I made the seasoning for this popcorn. It's just jalapeno salt with a pinch of curry powder. You know, I knew something was wrong with it. I just thought your cats got sick in the buckets. Yeah, it's pretty gross, but... I gotta say, watch this movie. It's really helped me, like, get out all my anger, you know? Like, every time someone gets killed, I just picture his face on the body. I don't think that's very healthy, Mike. Oh, come on, Dan. He's not really dead, you know? Of course he's missing, but, you know, like, people go missing all the time. Maybe, like, they just, like, you know, he moved out of state without telling anybody. Been there. What? Okay, Mike, I have beautiful cuts of steak if you want to use those instead of this hunk of meat you just pulled from the trunk of your car. No, it's, it's okay. You know, I, I want to use this on your show, all right? I, I want her to see it. That way it gives her a chance to see what she's missing. <laughs> missing. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. Look, you're going to love this, all right? All you mm -hmm. need to get started is just this nice cast iron griddle. Big, heavy thing to take care of business. Okay. And then on the plate, you're just going to season our Andy. Oh. I mean Andy. <laughs> I mean steak. The words sound so similar. It just all jumbles together. And then once you have that on the plate, you're going to take a bunch of this stuff. you got some paprika. You might even put some white wine vinegar. Just throw it on there so he's sizzling. I mean, it's sizzling. I mean the steak. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with something else. <sighs> Good news, horror fans. After a brief police investigation, turns out the mystery meat from Mike's trunk was just pork or beef. Definitely spoiled. Uh, but it wasn't Andy. Andy is fine. Everything's okay, uh, so we're just gonna move on because Mike was in a bit of a breakdown. Just gonna be me and Gabe here. Mm. I gotta tell you, Dan, that meat was delicious. Mm, Gabriel, I just said it was spoiled. You're gonna be sick. 
All right, you know what, let's move on before you throw up. Uh, here's what I'm gonna teach everyone out there, how to remove a stain using some salt, sparkling water, and my mother's secret, lemon juice. Now, Gabriel, you said you brought something from home for me to get the stain out of. Yeah, I brought one of Gabe Jr.'s stuffed animals. Oh my God, that's not stained, Gabriel. What happened to its face? Oh, Gabe Jr. likes to burn all the faces off of stuffed animals. Okay, you know, we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna put an end to this. Uh, between your kid and Mike, I'm just gonna get some new deadbolts put on these doors, okay? So, good night, horror fans. That's it. Okay, it's almost time for my date. Better take a quick shower, right, Steph? Oh, no, don't you run away. Come wash Daddy's back. Hey everyone, just want to say thanks for watching another episode of The Next Door Horror. Dan says I have to speed this up because last time I did it and I went way too long and ended up, well, wasting a lot of footage. But I just want to say thank you. Uh, we've got some other videos going on. Make sure to subscribe if you like our stuff and hit the bell notification so you know exactly when we drop new episodes. See ya!